Good morning, Rams. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Ram Report Morning Show. I'm your host, Laura Pavlovic, as always, bringing you the Heights Town Scoop. Let's start this week off strong with some more coronavirus news. Would it really be a Ram Report morning show without another coronavirus update? Here's Parker Benick with the story. Well, it's been another week, and that can only mean one thing here at the Ram Report Morning Show. It's time for more coronavirus news. In the past few weeks, nearly the entire country has seen an increase in COVID-19 case numbers, which is speculated to be due to Thanksgiving gatherings. California, one of the hardest hit states, has seen their intensive care units reach dangerous levels of capacity. In other news, both Moderna and Pfizer have claimed that they will both be able to produce 20 million units each of their vaccine before the end of the year. The priority for this vaccine goes to healthcare workers and nursing home patients and staff. When students and teachers will be able to get the vaccine remains to be seen. It's important to note that the first doses of the vaccine have already started rolling out in the UK, but to quell any concerns about the vaccine in the United States, President Bush, President Clinton, and President Obama have all agreed to get the vaccine publicly. Whatever happens, we'll be sure to report on it. I'm Parker Benick with the Ram Report. Back to you. Thanks, Parker. The vaccine progress is definitely a relief to see. The New Jersey seal of biliteracy test is here. So if you speak and read two languages, sign up with the form on the Heightstown High School front page. The registration closes December 21st. With Thanksgiving well in the rearview mirror, we're entering the season of another holiday, Hanukkah. Here's Matt Salter with more on the story. The holiday season is in full effect, and the next holiday up for celebration is Hanukkah. Hanukkah began yesterday at sundown and will continue for eight nights, ending on Friday the 18th. Hanukkah began over 2,000 years ago in Israel. Hanukkah is the celebration of the rededication of the Temple of Jerusalem after it was retaken by the Maccabees, a group of Jewish warriors from the Greeks in the 2nd century BCE. Hanukkah is celebrated with a nightly menorah lighting, special prayers, and fried foods, the most popular being potato latkes. It is also customary to exchange one gift per night. Wishing all our Rams who celebrate a very happy Hanukkah. I'm Matthew Salta for the Ram Report. Back to you. Thanks, Matt. We hope all Rams who will be celebrating this year will have a happy Hanukkah. In the spirit of the holidays, we'd like to announce the Ram Report Holiday Decorating Contest. All you need to do to enter is email a picture of your decorations, indoor or outdoor, to Mr. Koontz by December 18th. The winners of the contest will have their decorations shown on the show. It's been a few weeks since we reported on recreational marijuana, but some new developments have emerged within the past few weeks. Here's Josh Davis with more information. The state of New Jersey is currently in the process of legalizing recreational use of marijuana for adults age 21 and over. New Jersey residents voted to legalize a recreational use on November 3rd, but since then, the legislative process has been delayed due to disagreements between the Assembly and Senate over things such as cultivation license limits and social justice issues. On December 7th, legislative leaders and Governor Phil Murphy announced that the two groups had come to an agreement and that the vote for the implementation bill Uh, is expected to take place on December 17th. Some of the points reached in the agreement are that only 37 cultivation licenses will be issued for the first two years of legalization and that 70% of sales tax revenue will go towards programs aiding communities disproportionately affected by drug abuse. The legalization of recreational marijuana for adults in New Jersey is expected to bring millions of dollars in revenue for the state, and other states are likely to follow suit. I'm Josh Davis with the Ram Report. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Josh. Definitely some interesting new information. With remote learning, one of the things that students have missed the most is being connected with their peers via extracurricular activities. Despite this new setting, clubs have been very active. Over the next few weeks, we plan to highlight some of the clubs at our school, and this week, we asked Alejandro Mendoza to tell us about the Student Council. Hello, I'm Alejandro Mendoza with Tommy Fish for today's story, Student Council. 
One thing many of our students are missing during the coronavirus season is the vibrant energy after the school bell rings. Right now, it isn't just possible to walk the halls and see what every club is up to. However, we were curious about the virtual club experience. We decided to look into the student council, the wonderful students who organize events and activities year round. We got in touch with them to find out what they've been up to and how they adjusted to the online situation. Hi guys, my name is Rithish Rajaseker and I'm the chairman of charity for Heightstown Student Council. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick update as to what Heightstown Student Council has planned for you guys. So starting this Wednesday, the 16th and going till the 23rd of December, right up to winter break, we have our spirit days coming up. So make sure that you guys participate and you guys send in pictures of yourselves um, participating in order to get class cup points so that your grade can win. One thing's for certain, we here at HHS have a lot to owe our student council. Keep up the good work, guys. I'm Alejandro Mendoza with Tommy Fish, Equalito. I'm Alejandro Mendoza, back to you in the studio. Have a Rammy day. Thanks, Alejandro. It's exciting to see how clubs are changing and developing ideas for this school year. That concludes this week's RAM report. Thanks for tuning in and come back next week for more Heights Town news. Enjoy your weekend, stay safe, happy, and healthy, and have a ramtastic day.